I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. Good morning and welcome and or welcome back to another vlog. Long story short, your girl is not doing okay. Okay, and it's not my first time talking about the fact that I'm not doing okay. I've mentioned this maybe in a couple vlogs that I've posted earlier this year, but life has just been being really, really rough on me lately. Um, you know, I told you guys about my mom and the surgery and although like she hasn't had any issues since having the surgery. The reason, like, it seems as if the reason she had the surgery has not corrected. Like, you know, the point of having it, like, it's almost giving, it didn't help. But still the early stage is still trying to remain positive, but it's just, I don't need that <laughs> on top of everything else that I've got going on. Funny enough, I was talking to her and my dad yesterday and she was like, well, you can just come home. Like, come home tomorrow, but t today? No, this is Monday, so come home. Yes, yuck at the point. They were like, you can just come home, which I probably do need, you know, just a hug from my parents, but I do also have to work. Like I have things that are, I actually have a lot that's due this week, so I can't do that. But my thought process was get all of the work out this week and then maybe I can go surprise um, visit and just like pop in on my parents next week. So that's what I'm trying to do. But yeah, it's also been a very busy week, which is not helping me. So I figured today, Today is going to be a, I'm taking a break. I just need a break from everything. I need a self-care day. I need to take care of myself, get my mind right, like reset, all that type of stuff. Um, I was talking to Jay the other day. She's like, you know, you've never taken a break. And I'm like, I don't. So today it's not, you know, it's not the, the full break I probably should take, but today I am going to take a break. I am going to pamper myself and I'm going to do that with a little help from the sponsor today, which is PayPal. So let me tell you all about my new PayPal Cashback MasterCard because it definitely came in handy in person and online while I was trying to get a whole bunch of self-care in. And there are so many great benefits that come with using this card. When you use your card, you can earn unlimited 3% cash back when you pay with PayPal and 2% cash back everywhere else MasterCard is accepted. There are no category restrictions so I can shop at millions of retailers for my favorite travels, fashion, everyday essentials, and more while earning maximum cash back. It's also linked to your PayPal wallet for easy, fast, and secure checkout. So make sure you click the link in the description to learn more or apply for the cashback mastercard today When I tell y'all I'm determined, I mean, I'm I'm determined to have a good day today. Got to the gym, realized I forgot my resistance pants. It's okay, workout's still gonna happen. Um, I was supposed to have a facial first, but they had to move it. So I'm gonna go get my nail, I'm gonna go get a fill in <laughs> first. Um, and then just, I guess, work throughout the day and then go get the facial. But again, and I need the facial because skin is giving, <laughs> fell off on skincare. So, I, I, can y'all hear me? Hold on. All right, that'll turn off in a second. But I am home. This is what my nails ended up looking like. I got literally the same exact color. Um, he didn't ask me if I wanted them like cut down a little bit, but it is what it is. I've been feeling short nails lately. Um, I got the same exact color. I think it's like OPI. Oh, I already forgot the name. I'll try to look up. It's like a bubblegum pink. I thought it was really cute. So, um, I got the same exact color. I have to wait for the facial, so I gotta go do that later. But since I came back to my apartment, I decided that I am going to clean my apartment because listen, that's one of the first few things that start to go downhill when you're starting to go through it. Like how your surrounding area looks, 
is something that usually takes a hit. You know, you, like I said, I've fallen off on like skincare and whatnot. Um, so I feel like, you know, if I'm going to reset, if I'm going to try to feel better, then I gotta reset the area around me. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean my kitchen. Um, these are clean dishes. Like I did, I, I ran them through the dishwasher. I just did not put them away. And then I already filled the dishwasher to run right now. So I'm gonna clean my apartment. I should be able to get that finished before it's time for me to go. So let's go. Oh, and my flowers are kind of dying already. I'm not, listen, I'm not like a plant person. I'm not even in frame. I'm not really like a plant person, but Faye brought me flowers the other day. She knew that I was feeling down, so she brought me flowers to make me feel better. So love you. Um, but yeah, let's go. Okay, so like I said, my facial was moved to a later time, so I actually have to head out for that. But I'm annoyed because you can probably hear that. I'm still doing laundry, and I don't like leaving the clothes in the washing machine after it's been washed because they start smelling like moldy washed clothes and you have to wash them all over again. But by the time it ends, I have, I have to leave. So fingers crossed, it doesn't smell like that. But <laughs> more importantly, so you know, I got the wig on, right? But like, it's not actually attached. Like, you see that? See, it's not actually like the glued down. I'm going to get a facial, and uh, the last time I went, they you know put like a headband and whatnot on you. But like, how far are you gonna push it back? Because not my light going now. How far do they push it? Ooh, back because um, last thing I need, especially right now, last thing I need is you pushing my wig off. Now we just both sit there like, oh, it's so awkward. But let's go.
Okay, so I am home. That is my skin after the facial. I feel like you can, we had to skip past some of the extractions because they she was extracting, okay? But I feel like you can see some of the inflammation from them, which will go down. I'm not worried about that. But it's that little restart I needed to just get me back in the groove of doing my skincare routine. Now I need to go quickly get the laundry out so I can put it in the dryer. Okay, now that I've got like five seconds of peace dryers going, um, my manager actually recommended, she was like, you should start journaling. So I listened and I actually recommend that you guys should start journaling because I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like seeing your thoughts written down or like writing it out gives you the chance to forget things that you might forget if you're just trying to juggle all your thoughts in your head. But baby, when I tell you, I'll be talking in that journal. I mean, I'll be talking in that journal. I mean, one day could be all of like four pages, but I definitely recommend it. Also because like, you know, you can look back at what you said, you know? So when days are happy again, you can look back and see that those days that were sad and you're like, see, look, life goes on life gets better and i feel like you know vice versa on those days where you're sad you can look back and read those days where you were happy and once again you can remember that life gets better so um i want to do that also i think another thing that I, I came to realize is that i think one of the reasons that i've been feeling kind of off is like i don't really have hobbies <laughs> you know like i feel like when this is what you do for a living it's almost like everything ends up becoming content like you know going to the gym oh that's content going to starbucks that's content you know if you like to cook that's content like you're always thinking like this could be a little mini vlog or i could say this for the vlog blah blah blah, blah. so i came to realize i don't really have any like hobbies like things that even the sims which i know i have like see even that but that though like i started out playing sims just because i liked it but then, you know, it was like, oh, I can create a channel because like I like sharing the content on Twitter. Can you guys hear me? My bad, I didn't even realize that was on. Um, I like sharing the content on Twitter, so it's like, oh, you should start a channel, you should start a channel. So I did, which mind you, I haven't uploaded in who knows when. But um, even that, like that's not a hobby anymore. Now I feel like, anytime, mind you, I haven't opened Sims in a good minute, again, because I've been going through it. But now I feel like when I do, it's like, why aren't you like, you know, recording so you can post this on your channel? Will I come back to my Sims channel? Hopefully, fingers crossed. I don't know, maybe if I get my life together. But like, even that, it's not a hobby anymore. Like, it's content. So, I was also telling that to my manager and she was like, well, what do you like to do? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, like, everything has been turned into content. So, I remember that, you know, I do like drawing. I That's probably why, you know, I got into the makeup space. I like drawing. I haven't done it since I was in middle school. So I mean, like I literally have not done this for well over 10 years. But recently, because I do have an iPad, if you follow Keon on, um, on TikTok, he's like, listen, all you need to get your life together is an iPad. I've had an iPad. I've like always had an iPad. I had the iPad mini that I just recently got the regular size iPad. I don't know if that's true that once you get an iPad your life you know comes together but I have an, an iPad because I don't have any actual actually maybe I do have a sketchbook I might actually have a sketchbook um from college because I did take some art classes in college um but I have an iPad and I know people draw on it so I downloaded one of those like sketch app apps um and I started drawing recently so I've just been drawing like one random thing a day some of it doesn't even make sense like why did I draw that um but I've been doing that as well. So this is what, I didn't finish yesterday's, but very random. Ooh, can you see that? This is what I drew yesterday. Cute, cute little, you know, just to get me back into doing it. I need to finish that one. But, um, so we're gonna do that as well. Ooh, lighting. Okay, this is absolutely positively what life is not going to do because not I just sat through here and drew this whole thing just to look up and realize the camera was not recording. So yes, I did push back everything because no, y'all are going to see this. So watch, this will be like a sped up version to see what this looks like drawn because absolutely not.
Now, once again, now, once again, not too much on me because I haven't done this in over a decade, but I feel like it's coming back to me kind of quickly, right? For a nice Bart Simpson sketch. And that is why I need hobbies that are not monetized for social media. Cause I don't have to worry about the fact that I just got through doing all of that. Then I look down or I look up and it's not filming. I mean, I did it for this video, just to let you guys know that that's something I'm getting back into. But yeah, I'll be doing all future drawing off social media. Does it look, can you see it better if it's in this lighting? Or does it get, oh. I mean, he looked, you know, a little narrow headed, but that's my Bart Simpson. Okay, so I just completed my nighttime routine, which is hitting on like 40 minutes, close to an hour now, but I've been taking my time because I enjoy it. Like I enjoy, you know, that like when you do the whole routine, shower, skincare, uh, face care, all that stuff, like I like it. It's like my me time before I get to go to bed. Um, got my little bonnet on. Uh, so I'm pretty much done for the night. Basketball is back. Uh, the Laker game starts at 10. So I'm just gonna get something to eat and watch that. And I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm telling myself that, but I feel like I have more, not more energy, but like I feel like it's, it, you can tell my spirit has lifted compared to when this video started. And it's only been a day. But I needed that day. Like that's what I'm saying. I needed that day where I didn't really focus about social media. I didn't focus on any issues or anything that's been bothering me. I did talk to my mom earlier and you know that did all start to get me in my feelings a little bit. But I just gotta believe that, you know, everything is going to push through, everything is going to be fine, and everything is going to be fine. Like I am a firm believer in I never want to have that feeling like nothing can go wrong or you know the world is going to end like i was saying when i was journaling before like and that's why i am journaling and why i recommend doing it just because like when you have those moments where you're down like you need to remember it is not the end and those good times that you had before and the times when life was great they will come back around so that's why i need to keep reminding myself but yeah that is it for my self-care day i needed it <laughs> um i think i'm ending the vlog a little bit happier i just need to you know continue this energy continue this thought process but um yeah that is pretty much it i'm gonna get back on vlogging that's another reason why i haven't posted any vlogs because like i haven't picked up this camera so i'm gonna get back into that i'm just gonna get back into being happy so thank you guys for watching this vlog and i will see you in the next one